the middle of last year, you, you know, I was raving and ranting, as I often rave and rant, about the midterm miracle. People never believed the midterm miracle. The midterm miracle happens every other two years in America as we have midterm elections. It is simply a fact that the nine months that begin October 1st of a midterm election year, three quarters, the nine months that begin October 1st, midterm election year, the most profitable nine months in all of stock market history. It's just a simple measurable fact. 20% average annual returns, 20% uh, total returns, excuse me, uh, over that nine months uh, and 92% positivity. That's just blows the lights out of anything else. People don't believe that it works. It works because it creates, midterms create relative or absolute gridlock and the market starts pricing that a little before the elections. It works because nobody ever believes that it'll work. It works because midterms create relative gridlock or absolute gridlock and people don't really get the benefit of that because what most people think is, it's my way or the highway ideologically. What I believe is good, what you believe that disagrees with that is wrong. If we don't get what I want, things aren't gonna be good. If we get what you want, oh boy, things would be terrible. And the fact of the matter is our ideological beliefs in things political are so strong and overwhelming for so much of our society that they can't quite believe the notion that one of us wins, one of us loses in that offset. If you win and I lose, or I win and you lose, the one that loses hates it a lot more than the one that wins likes it. Behavioral finance learned a long, long time ago, I think about 35 years ago, uh, through work of uh, Richard Thaler and Soma Bernanzi, that the average American hates losses two and a half times as much as they like gains. Mayor Statman and I then went back using British and German data and replicated the thaler bernanzi methodology in those countries and found British investors hate losses four times as much as they love gains, German six times as much. The fact of that matter is people hate losses more than they like gains, some cultures a little more, some cultures a little less, but in politics, we take from you to give to me or take from me to give to you, and we do it in public so everybody else says, oh my gosh, they might come to get me next. And in American political history, all material, big controversial legislation, all big tax changes, property rights changes, they all, wealth transfers, the big ones, the controversial ones, all come in the first two years of president's terms because presidents know when they get elected presidents, you may lo love them, you may hate them, but they know a lot about how to get elected or they never get elected president, it's not that easy to do. They know that their party tends to lose relative power in the midterms. There's almost no exceptions to that. So therefore they know, because they know that, that the most onerous legislation they would ever get to, they gotta get done in the first two years, they can't get it done later. That, all that legislation, if you remember in 2021 and 2022, we had quite a lot of that. Things like the infrastructure bill, things like the so-called Inflation Reduction Act, on and on and on trillions of dollars, that all happens in the first two years of president's terms. Midterms make it go away. And in the back half, mostly what happens is a lot of talk and baby kissing. And that aimed at the, tw the, the next elections, the, the baby kissing. And the talk aimed at fundraising for the next elections. The point that I'm wanting you to see is the midterm miracle works. This time it worked almost picture perfect. The average first quarter since 1925 of midterm miracles is 6.4%. On the S&P 500, third quarter of last year, the first quarter of the midterm miracle was 7.5%. Second quarter, 6.5% average, 7.4% second quarter in reality. It's almost picture perfect. And as I speak to you today in the third week uh, of um, April, we are right on the exact long-term average of the midterm miracle going back to 1925. I just want you to get that this is a pretty good time. It's a pretty good time that people never believe and partly because people never believe it, it doesn't get uh, pre-priced into the market. It's, it's a surprise that happens every two years. Is it perfect? No. Is it pretty good? Yeah. Is it every single quarter always of those three quarters? 
No, sometimes you get a negative quarter in there, but the nine month stretch is just overwhelming. So thank you for listening to me. The midterm miracle continues uh, as we speak. Uh, and actually I'll finish this with a point that I make often, which is this is the third year of a president's term and partly because of the midterm miracle, we haven't had a negative third year for president's term since 1939 in the US stock market, which in 1939, going into World War II, was only nine tenths of 1% down. Uh, this is a great time period if you like markets that rise. Thank you very much for listening to me. Subscribe to the Fisher Investment YouTube channel if you like what you've seen. Click the bell to be notified as soon as we publish new videos.